Hi there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, or Class B and B Plus RV Specialists. My friends call me Luke and my sisters call me Charlie, but you can call me anytime at 419 899 2020. Myself or my brother Levi would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com. That's truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see the pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full service dealer offering warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give me or my brother Levi a call at 419-899-2020. Again, that's 419-899-2020. For sale today, we have a 2005 Road Trek 210 Popular with 59,177 miles. All right, folks, here we are inside of this 2005 Road Trek 210 Popular. As usual, we're going to start in the front, work our way towards the rear, try to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are a family-owned and operated dealership since 1976, started by Levi and I's mom and dad. Levi and I have taken over the day-to-day -day operations, so if you stop in, you'll get to talk to one of us most likely. Might catch dad if he is in, or possibly even our brother-in-law, Greg, who's in charge of our shop. This road trek has 58,000 miles and some change on it. This is designed to be a three person unit. So this unit is designed to sleep two in the rear as well as one person in the bed up here in the front. How you make that bed in the front is this chair will swivel around to connect with this portion here. So you'll use the back and the seat cushion here to create a, another bed up front. We do have belts on all three of these chairs up front. So you can take three belted passengers in the front and there are also two belts in the back. We'll check out soon. So you can take two more belted passengers back there. We've got your fuse panel here. We've got the Onan generator start stop switch for the Onan 2800 generator. That's got 51 hours. It also has a fresh service and oil change by our certified Onan technicians. We've got the water heater on off switch here. That reset light will tell you that it is not lit. So when you first turn it on, that reset light will come on. That will go off after it lights. And later on, if that light comes on, you know that the pilot light has gone out on the water heater for one reason or another. We've also got your levels test here. So push and hold this. It will tell you how much is in your propane, your fresh, your holding, which is your black, your gray tank, and also your coach battery. Um, we have been sitting here unplugged for quite a while, so our battery is a little bit low. But the ways that battery charges is off of the plug-in, off of the generator, or off of the alternator while you drive. We've got your water pump on-off switch, as well as the coach battery disconnects. So you'll turn the coach battery on and off there. If you turn the coach battery off, it also disconnects those charging systems. Flip around to the driver's side and check out the kitchen here. Got a standard RV countertop here. Got some drawer space, as well as some storage below. So there's your water heater and your water pump down on the lower left there. We also have the table stowed here. So this table can be put in the front or the rear. That is the Road Trek style table. It has the little flip outs. We've also got several more drawers here below the cooktop, which we'll check out here momentarily. Those are just two more drawers, just like the others. We also have a two burner propane cooktop that is beneath the cover here. So that cover has a little hook, so you can make that stay up if you'd like while you're using the cooktop. Got a stainless backsplash there. We also have a range uh, fan and light. Got some more storage above the kitchen area and the sink. We've also got your manuals in there. Stepping again towards the center of the coach. Got some more storage above the microwave and fridge here. This is a Samsung toast and bake. Um, so this works as a toaster oven and also as a microwave. We've got a three-way Dometic fridge freezer here. So three-way meaning it runs off of AC, so your shore power plug-in or your generator. DC, meaning your coach battery. You will have to have something charging that coach battery, like the engine while you're driving to keep that topped up, or propane gas. Again, moving towards the rear, we've got storage throughout in the rear. We've got a storage cabinet here, 
two of them overhead as well as some more here. We do have the Cool Cat AC heat pump in the rear. So that requires your generator or the plug-in to operate. So that will give you your AC or also has a heat pump that will work down to around 40 degrees. If it's below 40 degrees, you'll have to use the propane furnace. Let's check out some of these storage areas. This one here contains the DVD player. Here in the rear of the coach in the sleeping area, this is a very popular setup for a camper van. It is designed to sleep two people front to back right here. This is very well liked because you can swing your legs out easily and get out of bed without crawling over one another to use the bathroom. Um, you can also make up the full bed here by using the table that's hidden beneath this cushion and also the back cushions to fill in the blank here. So you can make this one big bed and you can potentially sleep one, two, three, or potentially even crossways. Um, this nightstand does have some wing nuts that come off, so you can go ahead and pop this down on the ground here. It will fit below the main bed if you'd like to do it that way, or you can leave it just like so and have the bed already ready for you. As you can see, we do have two lap belts in the rear, so you can take some more belted passengers back here. We have a table mount there. We do have some storage beneath these couch areas here. So we'll check those out. Just a couple different storage bays. That one goes all the way to the rear. So you can actually access that through the back door of the coach, as well as this one. A couple little drawers there on the nightstand. We've also got a noxious gas detector there as well as another storage bin right down here by the propane furnace. Here we are sitting in the bed at the rear of the road trek. We've got the fantastic fan in the center that functions like an attic fan or like an exhaust fan for the bathroom area, which we'll check out here shortly. That does run on 12 volt coach batteries, so you can use that anywhere. We do also have another drawer below the fridge there. I believe I skipped that earlier. Here on the carpet in the rear, we do have some discoloration as well as just some general wear. Um, this carpet has been thoroughly cleaned, so you do not have to worry about that being gross. It's just discolored from age and wear, something common that you see on something that is a 2005. But overall, it is very clean, and that is one of the few faults you can find on the inside. The cushions are in excellent shape, very clean overall. We do have a window that opens here with a screened portion on the lower, so you can open this lower portion to get a good cross breeze, a 110 outlet. The windows back here in the very back do not open, but we do have curtains here to give you some privacy. Also got curtains on these windows on the sides. Got some reading lights here, some speakers. Um, this light bulb is out, but we'll take care of that. This TV is on a swivel mount, so you can take the TV here, swivel the TV out to face the front. What that is good for is that the front chairs both swivel. The driver's chair is not going to get nearly as good of a position because of the um, steering wheel and that cabinet behind it, but you can swivel the passenger chair all the way around and watch the TV from the front. That's nice if you wanna have somebody spend some time in the back still sleeping perhaps in the morning. If you have a late riser and one person that's an early riser, somebody can sit up front, drink their coffee, read a magazine or the paper, watch TV and that kind of thing. Sorry about that, had some technical difficulties with the filming equipment. Here we are facing the passenger side, so the opposite of where we just were. We have another window that opens on the lower portion with a screen. We've got the thermostat here that controls the onboard propane furnace, as well as the overhead cool cat um, AC and heat pump. Got a couple lights in the back here as well. Cushions are in good condition. No stains, rips, tears, funny smells, anything like that. Um, those are just kind of some creases from when it's cleaned. Got the propane furnace right there. Step up here and start checking out the bathroom area. So this opens up and has some storage as well as a wardrobe area, some table legs. This also has a portion that will flip out on a hinge. So you can go ahead and flip this part out if you'd like to give you more privacy in the back. So that will continue flipping out. Oh, it's got a couple catches on it there to prevent it from flying around when you don't want it to. And also the restroom area. So 
So basically how this works, there's another flip out portion here that will close in this area to give you some more privacy. Obviously the, the toilet is right there. And then overhead you have the shower head there. So you can go ahead and use the shower head. You pull the curtain around the track here and use this exhaust fan um, or a fantastic fan, whatever you want to call it while you're showering to go ahead and exhaust the, the humid air. Essentially this whole gray basin here is a molded fiberglass shower basin. So the way this is designed is that this portion here, when the RV is sitting level, the water will run forward to go into this trench drain. So inside of that drain or inside of that trench is a drain where the water will go down into the gray tank. You can take this little cover off if you needed to access that trench drain um, better, but there's not really a need to. So basically after you're done showering in here, you just go ahead and take your towel, dry up the area here that's wet. Um, and hopefully, you know, as the trench drain is doing its job, you shouldn't get too much water on the other side of it, but it is designed to handle that just in case. Sorry about that. We had some more technical difficulties with the camera gear, but here we are stepping up into the front of the coach. So we've got some little stash areas up here in these rails, as well as a little pouch there. We've got the light switch for the exterior porch light. We've got a window here that does open like your standard van style window. Oops, pinched my finger. Ow! We've got the nice seat here. This does have a belt again, so you can have a passenger up here up front. As you can see here, some more of that fading on the carpet. Very minimal, nothing gross or anything like that. Um, just a little bit of UV fading from age. We do have nice clean leather seats up front. No funny smells, stains, discolorations, anything like that. Appears to be a non-smoker. Again, you can see some of that fading around the edges of the carpet. Nothing nasty, just something we like to point out. Um, it does have power windows, power locks, power mirrors, CD player. We've also got another little storage area up there, as well as a smoke detector, a 110, I don't think I pointed out, and the privacy curtain that will go all the way around the front. So you got a portion of it there and a portion of it on the left. We're like your favorite umpire at Coon Truck and RV. We call them like we see them. I'm gonna call this unit an 8.5 out of 10. It's got a little bit of um, age showing on some of the stickers on the outside, not very much at all. They are still in very nice condition. It's still a great looking unit. Um, that's being picky and also the discoloration on the carpet on the inside. Nothing that affects the usability or the fun you can have in this road trek. It is all cosmetic. It's gone through our full inspection. It's ready to hit the highway, ready to go make some memories. Give us a call at 419-899-2020. Check out our website at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976. All right, folks, we're gonna go around the outside of this 2005 Road Trek 210 Popular. This RV measures 21 and a half feet bumper to bumper with an 11 foot Fiamma awning, has brand new tires. This RV is built on a Chevy 3500 chassis. It has a six liter Vortec V8 engine with 59,177 miles. I misspoke earlier and said that was 58,000. We've got your furnace exhaust here, as well as a drawer with two new coach batteries. So those are two brand new coach batteries. Um, it also has a brand new engine battery. We load test every battery here at Coon Truck and RV. If they fail, we replace those with new crown batteries. Got a little porch light here. The decals on this side are in better condition than the ones on the driver's side. Um, we see this sometimes if an RV perhaps sits under a lean-to or something like that where it gets more sun on one side than the other. A nice little storage bay here. As you can see, it is turning into fall here quickly. Why did the Scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. We've got the AC, which goes out the back of that area there. Wanted to show you beneath the couch, you do have a good storage space with your jacks, as well as an area that goes all the way up into there that you can access inside of the RV. We've also got your awning center rafter and awning crank right there. We do have a fill for the winter tank. So that is a small tank that is inside of the road trek that will allow you to uh, use the water systems in colder weather. That's not necessarily for um, super duper cold weather, um, but if you have some questions about that, please let us know. We do have the propane tank behind this as well as a tow package. We've got a full size spare that does drop down to be a flat um, kind of table almost. So some people make that into a little table, perhaps grill on it when they're camped. We've got the fuel fill here. So that will fill the tank that runs the engine as well as the generator. Generator will stop running around a quarter tank. That way you cannot run yourself out of fuel. 
Here in this drawer, we've got the shore power connector here. You can run that cord all the way across and out this little porthole. That way you can close this drawer. We do have your outside shower, cable TV, cable TV hookup, as well as your city water connection. We've also got the shower head, shore power cord, and converters and everything in there for that. Got very nice rims on this unit. Here's some of the um, ugliness of the stickers on the driver's side here. Um, but again, as a whole, it's not something you necessarily notice when you're standing looking at the RV in general, um, but something that is there. We've got the back of the refrigerator there, so you'll never really get into the back of the refrigerator, but you can access it there to work on it. We've got a bin here that you could use for more storage or perhaps a cooler. We've got the back of the water heater, and we've also got the sewer dumps here. So we've got the gate valves here. We've got the tube there that comes from the macerator pump. And here inside the driver door, we have the button that runs the macerator pump. So you'll push that button, it'll pump it out the tube. And you've also got the fill for your other fresh water tank. Inside the back doors in the rear of the road truck, there's also a storage bin in the floor. This is a nice example of how road truck uses all the space available for your storage needs.